Ayan, isang mapagpalayang hapon sa inyong lahat, mga sajante, mga kaguruan, at mga kaibigan ko. Hello, Tutor Jen! Hi! Hello, Tutor Ogar! Good afternoon! Hello, good afternoon everyone. So we are now live here at Itulay Tutorial. Yan. Hello, Tutor Jen. Kamusta ang inyong, ang iyong weekend? Parang walang weekend. <laughs> Kasi we're, we're busy, di ba, Tutor Ogar? And I think it's a good news for all our learners and even the science teachers that for the second quarter to complete the yes. episodes on Rapid TV, some Itolay tutors will be airing lessons on IBC 13. So, abangan wow. po nila ang schedules sa Sign 7. Yes, and I've known that you are one of those lucky tutors who already have the ano, the Itolay tutorial in IBC 13. So, congratulations, Tutor Jen. Yeah. Galing, Hopefully, galing that's yun. on second week. And ikaw naman, yeah. Tutor Ogar, will be on the shoot, uh, week four. Week four, yes. Kaya nga, tomorrow, mag-shoot na kami. So, kinakabahan pa ako. So, laban lang. Good luck. Yes. So, so welcome, ayun. everyone. Welcome. And we are now on the second quarter of the yes, school so year. Yes, second quarter na, di ba? So, napakabilis talaga ng ikot ng mundo, Tutor Jen. Parang kailan lang na nag quarter one tayo and then here we go already in our quarter two module one maraming salamat po sa mga nagtangkilik sumubaybay at nagbigay ng support na diba Ama. and I remember to Rogar quarter one yung sa art card natin is menti pa yung nakalagay pero ngayon Ano na, tutor. Yes, isa ka na talagang tutor. Thank you very na much. Tutor. Yan. Congratulations, Tutor Jen. I am so proud of you as in. <laughs> Thank you. And ngayon, Tutor Ogar, dahil very yes. supportive sila sa atin ng first week, ngayon naman, we'll give them one minute to share our live sessions. Yes, oo. Oo. So we are yes. ano, um, asking you to share our live session in this A2 Light tutorial, lalo lalo na this grade 7. Please share and like our, ano, it is in our social media platforms, in Deped EdTech, Deped Tayo, Unit Facebook page, Facebook, um, also in the YouTube, Deped Philippines YouTube channel, Deped Educational Technology Unit YouTube channel and Dep Ed TV YouTube channel. So please um, subscribe also and like and also share our program. Yan. Okay, so please do share our session now on your different. Share it on your different uh, group chats, on your wall, na public chat, para mas marami po tayong maabot ng mga Science 7 learners nationwide and even abroad. Tutor Rogar, di ba? We have si Ma'am yes, yes. Janet Patayon from last quarter. She's not from, from the Philippines. She's based abroad, but she's watching with us. Wow. So, hello, hello po, Ma'am. So, marami tayong tagapag taga panood ngayon. So, hello, hello sa inyong lahat. Lalo na na sa Region 11. Hello po ating mga mababait na mga division supervisors and also our regional supervisor in science and mathematics. Dr. Berangoy, hello po. And our division uh, superintendent in science is also watching with us right now. Hello po, Ma'am Faye. Wow, Ma'am Faye. Hello po, Ma'am Faye. Yan, hello, hello. Yes. Uh, Dr. Rogar, so, uh, mm. I believe na bigyan mo na ng prize ang isa sa ating top five learners ng quarter yes, one. Na, <laughs> yes, and he's coming from Francisco Bangoy National High School, si Xavier. Ngayon, nananawagan kami si Mark, si Minette, si Ayan Martinez, at saka si Daniel to give us, ano na, chat lang po kayo to have your prize. ba? Kasi we are still waiting for you to have your prize na. Diba, Tutor Jen? 
Yes, so nabigyan na natin ng isa. We're waiting for the other four for your information so that we know how to reach out to you and give you your prizes. Congrats, yes, thank you so much. And I am very happy kasi marami talaga ang sumabaybay sa ating program. Ayan. Okay, so this week, Super Ogar, it's week one of the second quarter for Science 7, and we will learn about the microscope. Wow! Um, Napaka-exciting talaga na topic na to. Ito yung aking sinubaybayan um, nung ako'y nasa high school pa, na gusto ko talagang gumamit ng microscope. Diba? <laughs> I, I remembered when we were in high school also, uh, mm -hmm. we, were, we were laughing kasi one of our classmates, she was asked to, to have a cheek sample. So, si kami tawa na tawa. Mm. When we view the cheek sample, that's when we appreciated, when we realized how valuable the microscope is. That we've seen the minute detail of the cheek mm. sample. Kaya nga, di ba? Okay. So, Science 7, Quarter 2, Week 1, The Microscope. So, don't forget, while you are posting, you have to put hashtag science tutorogen and hashtag science itulay7 for you to be recognized. Ayan. So, we are very excited to teach the microscope in a virtual way. I know this is very, very hard for us that we cannot um, take or teach you face to face. But here is what we call the the new normal of learning. Yes. And if you want to share your insights, your learnings, you can post that and use these hashtags and we will be able to see them on social media. Yes, correct. The okay. topic reference this week is the central office module with the title, The Microscope. This is from DepEd Sock Surgeon. That's region 12. Wow. Thank you, Thank you so much, Division of Sock Surgeon. And what's our, our most essential learning competency, Chutoro? Okay, so our most essential learning competency is to identify parts of the microscope and their functions. So for the lesson one, we will have, div um, di it is divided into two lessons. We have the lesson one, the brief history, and for the lesson two is, are the parts and functions. Ayan. So we have reminders for you. I will read yes, the go, first go. four reminders, and Chuta Rogar will read the reminders five to eight for you. So this is uh, this tutorial is module based, and you are also given modules in your schools. So for for this task, we encourage you to take the pretest prepared at the start of the module, and as you do, you answer the pretest as honest as you can. Second, you take time in reading and understanding the lesson. Follow instructions carefully. Number three. Mm -hmm. Use a clean sheet of paper for your answers in each activity or assessment. Palala uh, also is that do not forget your name and section. Correct. They forget, they, they submit it in Dropbox, but they do not have their names and section. And number four, Correct. try to recall and connect the ideas that you had in the previous grade level. Okay. Um, before we continue, Tutor Jen, ha, I would like to remind lang also and to announce that every end of the quarter we will have a recognition we are recognizing the schools the division and also the students and teachers right um yeah. meron dyan, meron talagang memo coming from the central office kaya it's very important for you to write your division your school the name of the teacher or yourself as a student. And I've seen also my teacher na sumale. Hello, hello. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Riza Urbina from the Vision of Davao City. Lagyan nyo din ng school so that you could be recognized. Hello, thank you so much. Ayan, so ang saya-saya natin. Okay, so for number five, be honest when doing the activities 
Record only what you have really observed. And number six, don't hesitate to ask if you need to clarify something, approach or con contact your teacher. Seven, take the post-test prepared at the end of the module. And for number eight, you can check your answers in the activities, self-assessments, and post-test. Ayan! So, ang ating mahiwagang tanong, Tutor Rogar. Okay, ang mahiwagang tanong. Are you ready? Sige, if you are ready, kindly chat on our chat box below. Yan, so that we could able to know that you are all ready to have our lesson. Ayan, hello-hello sa aking mga sudyante sa Francisco Bangoy National High School. Diba? Tutor Jen is from Daniel R. Aguinaldo National High School. Ayan, sabi ni Ma'am Janet, ready na. Hannah, yes. Aaron, okay. I think all of them are, are, are really, really ready. Yan. Let's start. We have a Let's multiple start. choice pre-test. There are three items, only three items for the live session. So, direction, read each question carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. In the comment section of our live questions now, Share your answers. Indicate your name and school to be recognized. Let's begin. Yeah. Let's begin. So don't forget to put your name and indicate your school and division. Okay. You first, Tutor Jen. Okay. Number one, what tool helps you see tiny objects and living organisms? A, goggles. B, microscope. C, stethoscope, or D, telescope. Ang bilis na may nakasagot na. No, ang what? bilis naman. Okay, what congratulations. What Jam of Janet. Ayan, so Marjun, Alriza. All of their answers are letter B. It's microscope. Okay, that's correct. Okay. Microscope. So ang don't forget to... Ang stethoscope, ito, I have a sample. Ayan. Ayan. We have a sample. This is a stethoscope. Stethoscope. So we, Para saan ang stethoscope, Tutor Jen? Uh, we use this to, to listen to sounds created by the heart or the lungs or some no, in some cases of veins when we listen to the, the blood. Uh, we want to determine the blood pressure manually with another device. This one lets you hear the sound. How about oh, the telescope, Tutor okay. Rogar? Okay, the telescope naman is to see far objects. Yan. So, ginagamit ang telescope para makita yung nasa malayo. Diba? Okay. And if you say yung gagas naman ay ginagamit to protect your eyes from dust or any microorganism going inside in your eyes. I you know that very important talaga ang mga mata kaya we need to protect especially in laboratory activities. Yes. Ayan. For items yes. two and three, we have here a picture of a microscope. Ito yung pala yung literal na multiple choice. They have letters A to L. These are all their choices. So for question number two, what part yeah. moves the body cube and the objectives up and down? Oh. What so are the body tube and the objectives up and down? By the way, Tutor Jen, Tutor Jen, I would like to remind the students and the participants and the teachers as well to put your name after your answer. To put your name or the name of your school and division so that we could able to know if saan kayo na division at anong school kayo for you to be recognized properly. Yun. So, according to Majing from Genevieve Palace Bago Oshiro National High School, it's letter B. Sabi niya. Correct answer, Chutaro, okay. is letter, letter A. A. We have here a knob that moves the body tube and the objectives up and down. Yes, yeah, sabi ni Ma'am Janet, flood pa tayon. Sa tamang sagot niya is letter A. Ayan. 
Number well, three. three. Which part makes changing of the objectives possible? And which part makes changing of the objectives possible? Sagot ni Krisha May Lasala is letter B. Mm -hmm. Jasmine okay. Segundino also answered letter B. Let's okay. see. Correct answer? It's letter, letter L. L. Where's yeah. letter L? Ayun. Ayun ang letter L. Sige. So, when we learn about the microscope, we also try to connect what other tools do we use to make things appear bigger. Let us know in the mm -hmm. comment section. Can you name some of the tools which we can use to make things bigger other than the microscope? Correct, correct. Ano yung mga bagay na pwedeng gamitin para mas magmagnify pa yung isang object aside from microscope? Tama ba ako, Tutor Jen? Yes, they, we have uh, one clue, Tutor Rogar, one with, ayun, parang nakahaan lang. Yes, isang with the hand. And Ginagamit siya sa mga up. ano, yung sa mga detective na mga cartoons. Yes, oh, so <laughs> yung cartoon, um, yung anime cartoon dati. Correct. Pero kung sabi niya magnifying glass, correct? Yes, okay. What else? Ano pa? May nagsabi reading reading glasses daw. Hmm. Ta. Ayun. Pwede. Okay. Pwede ba? I have, I have my students here for so grade 12 STEM who's watching with us because I told them wow. to read the microscope. Mm -mm. Kasi minsan sa sobrang advanced na ng students, they able to forget the basic parts of the microscope. So mas mabuti yung may refresh silang konti sa parts and functions of the microscope. Hello, Very good grade 12 students. <laughs> Hello, grade 12 students. And also, ka my college students as well. Hello, hello. Yeah. Sabi Ayan. naman, you know, is binoculars daw. May, nag Ayan, may sumagot dito na binoculars. Ah, okay. That's good. So now, shall we proceed? Kasi magagaling ang yung mga sudyante natin. So we'll talk about the history of the microscope. I will be reading first. And then the next slide will be yours, Tutor Jen. Sige. Go ahead, Tutor Olga. Okay. On the early 13th century, spectacle makers were producing lenses for glasses. The early simple microscopes were known as flea glasses because they were used to study small insects. A father-son duo, Zacharias and Hans Johnson, created the first microscope in the 1590s. In the year 1625, Galileo Galilei perfects the principle of microscope. In 1665, rather, an English physicist, Robert Hooke, looked at a sliver of cork through a microscope lens and noticed some pores or cells in it. And, and Anton van Leeuwenhoek built a simple microscope in 1674 with only mm -hmm. one lens to examine blood, yeast, insects, and many other tiny objects. In the year 1925, Richard Zygmondi developed the ultra microscope that could study objects below the wavelength of light and he won a Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1925. The phase contrast microscope was invented by Fritz Zernike in 1932, which allows to study colorless and transparent biological material. At that time, little was done to improve the microscope until the middle of the 19th century, when great strides were made in quality instruments like the microscope at present finally emerged. These two slides, Sister Rogar and Learner, are only uh, overview. Yes. Are only an overview. Let's get to know more about other details. Okay. So now, 
Hans and Zacharias Johnson produced the first compound microscope in the 1590s. There were Dutch eyeglass makers. They began experimenting with, way, with ways to use different lenses. When they put a lens at the end of a small tube, they discovered that the objects near the end were magnified more than the lens by itself could achieve. So Galileo Galilei was credited with inventing one of the first compound microscope in the year 1625. It is called compound microscope because it has more than one lens. He added a focusing device to his microscope and of course went on to explore the heavens with his telescopes. In 1665, Robert Hooke had access to many microscopes available in Royal Society of London. He examined everything he could get his hands on. When he examined a very thin slice of cork, he thought the close-up views resembled small empty rooms. It reminded him of small rooms found in monastery. Thus, he named these rooms cells. This gives way to the discovery of cell. Ayan. So the, the term cell is coined by Robert Hooke. Yes. In 1674, Anton van Leeuwenhoek, in some uh, references, by the way, we have a uh, variation as to the pronunciation of this name because it's a Dutch name. So this Dutch work to create stronger lenses that results to more powerful microscopes. Anton van Leeuwenhoek was one of the first scientists able to observe bacteria movement in a single drop of pond water. The prototype for the compound microscope was credited to Joseph Jackson Lister in 1830, which reduces spherical aberration or the chromatic effect by showing that several leaf lenses used together at certain distances gave good magnification without blurring the image. Yes. Okay. Ernst, how do I pronounce? Ernst Abe. Okay. Right. Research director of ZIS. Tamaba. ZIS. Zeiss. Zeiss Optical Works wrote a mathematical formula called the Abe sign condition. His formula provided calculations that allowed for the maximum resolution in microscopes possible in 1872. In 1903, Richard Sigmund D. developed the ultra microscope that could study objects below the wavelength of light. Wow! And he won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1925. Fritz Zernick or Zernike, uh, invented the phase contrast microscope in 1932 that allowed for the study of colorless and transparent biological materials for which he won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1953. Wow. In 19th century, companies in Germany like Zeiss and an American company founded by Charles Spencer began producing fine optical microscopes. So that's the overview of the history. You know, we, given the yes. short time that we have for the live tutorial, we can only talk about these milestones. If you want to know more about the history, there are also episodes on uh, Depth TV that's uploaded on YouTube. Wow, very nice, no? Okay, now let's go far. to the part. Yes, yes I again. Uh, this is the common picture of uh, a picture of a common microscope or, that's found in most public schools. So this yes, is what we course. will examine this afternoon. Mm -hmm. So you can take a screenshot now or mag-draw it and then we will have the part 
time. Yes. Um. Actually, if you have your microscope with you as well, pwede din, de ba, Chotorjen, na you can also look for the eyepiece and so on and so forth. Now, these are the parts. Shall I, ano, shall I read all the parts, Chotorjen, first? So we have the eyepiece, the coarse adjustment, the arm, the fine adjustment, the base. And then on the right side, body tube, revolving nose piece, objective lens, ayan. There are three lenses for the objective lens. Stage, stage clip, diaphragm, and mirror. Yes. So let's get to know each part. Let's yes. begin with the eye piece. Others refer to it as the ocular lens. This is the part used to look through the microscope. Chan kapitingin. Sa microscope, they have binoculars. Dalawa, eye piece. Mm. And we have a body tube here that connected with the eye piece. And its main task is, of course, to hold the eye piece. This is the body tube. And then we have the other another part and its function revolving nose piece. This holds the objective lenses. Ayan. Okay. And the arm connects the base to the head and the eyepiece tube to the base of the microscope. And it gives support to the head of the microscope. This is the arm. Yes, the arm. Then we have two knobs. It's it's common to be uh, mistaken or to take this two interchangeably. But the mm -hmm. course adjustment knob, it, usually it's bigger. This focuses the image under the scanner and the low power objective. While the fine adjustment knob, it focuses images under the high power and oil immersion objectives. This one. Oh. Okay. You have the coarse adjustment knob and fine adjustment fine. knob. Okay, let's go to the next. We have the objectives okay lenses or objective lenses these use for specimen visualization okay most schools have light microscope with three objectives others have four ayan the shortest one mark three times four times or five times it's called scanner okay the lower power objective or lpo is marked as 10 times or 12 times. The high power objective or HPO is marked 40 times of magnification, 43 times or 60 times magnification. Wow. Kaya nga, siya sabi niya high power objective. Yes. And our learners, for uh, a refresher, we see these markings of the magnification on the sides of the eyepiece mm -hmm. and the sides of the objective lens. Yes. Yan. And then we also have the stage, itong black, the picture. Yan palang, the para talaga siyang stage. Yeah. Uh, stage. The platform that holds a specimen or a sample for viewing. But we do not place the specimen directly on the slide. Correct. We use, mo we use slides, glass slides. And then we have the stage clip. Ito. Ang ipit. The stage Ayan. clip holds the specimen in place. Or the slides, the glass slides in place. So we have a glass slide and then cover slip. Tapos, tapatong mo dito sa stage, iipit si stage clip. Para hindi magalaw-galaw yung specimen, di ba? Okay. Next will be the diaphragm. Controls the amount of light that passes through the 
specimen. And we have the last one, the mirror. Okay, reflects light from an external light source up through the bottom of the stage. Pero, Shooter Jen, meron na tayong tinatawag na electronic microscope. Yes. ba? Diba? Wherein mirror and diaphragm is not already part of the electronic microscope because kaya nga siya nag electronic kasi ano na siya, parang powered by current or electricity. And mas maganda na rin yung image quality that we see yes, correct, through an electron microscope. Kaso lang, And compared then, to ah! compound, compared to compound, mm-hmm. mas mahal yung electronic microscope. Sige, go to the so, Most Kaya siya in most schools, we have this compound microscope. In as much as possible, we can have two students into one or one is to one. Depende sa population ng school. Mas madali siyang ma-acquire. Diba? Mas marami tayong mm-hmm. ma-provide for the learners. So last part is the base you have here. It's the base. The function is it supports the microscope. So reminder natin dito is for our learners when you carry the microscope, always use two hands. One hand will be on the arm and the other hand will be on the base. Para support. Support. That's why, Tutor Jen, no, we need to be careful in using talaga microscope. Diba? Because microscope is really sensitive, most especially on the lenses, right? Kaya kailangan yes, be careful mag- talaga tayo. And you make a scratch. Yes. I think we have also a lesson wherein we're going to teach on how to handle and clean the microscope. Tama po ba, Tutor Jen? Is it part of uh, our competency? I, dapat ano siya, sa week 2. Week 2, yes. Week two. Focusing specimens using the microscope. So we'll have more of the magnification. And mm. we will also include proper care or handling of the microscope. And proper handling and proper care of microscope. Ayun. So di ba, ang saya-saya. Kahit na naka, nasa pandemic, at least they've already have the idea on how to take care. And at the same time, to know the parts and functions of the microscope. Very good. Yes. And as learners, there's yes. more that we can do since we are in a pandemic now and you are in distance learning modality. You, you may not be able to have or to manipulate a microscope right now, but you have these parts. And there, there are also uh, websites where you can have a virtual laboratory for the use of a microscope. You just search virtual laboratory for microscope. And then pwede mo mag, pwede mo change yung mga, mga lenses. And then you can try how it looks if you're using this lens. Wow. Okay. And Tutor Rogar and... Yes. What else can our learners do? Okay, now, in this time of COVID-19 pandemic, here's the challenge. How useful is the microscope in detecting the viruses? You may share your outputs on social media and use the hashtags, hashtag science to lie 7 and hashtag science to the rogue gen. Now, at this time, can we hear some of their answers? How useful the microscope in detecting some viruses? Now, we're, we're going to wait for their answers, siguro, Tutor Jen, because they are all thinking, and then they, and after that, they could able to share on their wall the answers. But as of now, we, are, we will be happy if you are answering in our chat box. The yes, essential the question. Yes, yes, the comment section. The comment section. Oh, yes. Anyone who would like to know? Other than the, uh, looking at the or detecting viruses, how else will microscope be useful? If I can share that. Mm-mm. We have, uh, we're looking at the comment section, Tutor Roger, since we started the live session. We have 
new schools for this quarter. Kasi suki na natin sina Baruya High School. We have uh, from Santa Lucia National High School. Yung mga suki na natin yung si LFG Diamantina. Now we have from uh, ano Buhang National High School. Pulong Buhang National High School. Ayan. So I would like Ayun, sabi ni Renz, oh, may mga sagot na rin. Sabi ni Renz Giver Galianta for inventing effective medicine po for the virus. Hashtag Imelda, Integrated Secondary School Malabon. Wow, thank you. And I have learners here doing the review. Sabi ni Arian Sophia, is it can help in studying the behavior of the virus in other microorganisms. And meron pang sagot si Ashley Nicole Espiritu. The microscope is very useful in many ways because we can something so we can see something so small and very tricky to understand its cells and how it can replicate or how it functions if it has a host or an organism to be inside of it from AFGBMPS. Sorry, di ko alam yung complete name. Tinanong ko ito lang yung quarter. Sabi ni Bianca ito, magagamit po ito para makita yung mga germs sa bahay. Wow. Sana lahat ng bahay may microscope. Oo nga, tama. Sabi din ni Miro Kelby Sombilio, Viruses were very small and can't seen. Sana yan can't seen by the by our naked eye and only microscope can detect can detect it. Ayan and a lot more. Marami pa ang sumagot talaga. Sabi ni Eddie to be able to identify the virus and its characteristics, we must use the microscope to see it clearly. Yeah. Akisha is back. She's one of our cutest. Yes, oh, so I can still partner. remember him, her. She said, it is very useful because scientists use a microscope to know the right medicines or the vaccine that will help us in this pandemic. Wow. Wow. Galing. Okay, sabi naman ni Aaron Abasolo, um, <laughs> the microscope would be useful in detecting any bacteria or viruses laying on any surface area. You know, Chuturogar, in before the pandemic, that was school year 2019, I asked mm -hmm. my group 12 learners in their immersion class, kasi may, may grupo sa kanila na nag-immersion sa bio laboratory namin sa school. So I asked mm -hmm. them to get samples from doorknobs, sa railing, kung sa building, tapos sa may CR, I think doorknob din yun sa may CR. Oh, CR has a school. And then yes. sa cell phone casing, so nag-swap, mm -hmm. nag-sample sila, and then nag-culture, and then it showed na maraming microorganisms on the mm -hmm. sample, including money. They use us coins. Yes. Wow, well, ang galing naman. O nga, sana mag-face-to-face -face na para mas maganda yung application talaga. It's a diba? reminder, yung, yung output nila is a reminder that may mga microorganisms around us. So if we want to be safe, we should always uh, we should always wash our hands and use alcohol necessary. True. Okay, sige, let's go. Tutor Jen, how, as much as we want to read all their answers, thank you so much to all your support and cooperation. Um, you can able to post that one in your wall and don't forget the hashtag #tutorogen, science #tutorogen and hashtag #itulai science #itulai seven. Ayan. So let's have the assessment, #tutorogen. Yes, we have three items for our post test to Tarogar. We have again the image of yes, the microscope. Yes, we're going to identify. So, number one, you need to raise the stage to focus the specimen you are studying using the low power objective. Which part should you manipulate? Ayan. Sige. Number Which one, part? Kylie. 
Yes, kindly put number ha, so that we able to know kung saan dyan ang sagot ninyo. Is it 1, 2, or 3? So, so we're going to have in number 1, put your school and your division. For the so recognition. Number two, which yes, part number two. supports the entire weight of the microscope? So Ayan. From A to L, these are your choices for 1, 2, and 3. And question okay. number 3, which part will you adjust if the object you're observing under the HPO is not clear? Ayan. I think may sagot na rin si Ashley Nicole Spiritu. Sabi niya, number one, it's letter F from AFGBMTS grade 7. Wow. Um, we are encouraging you to complete the name of your school so that it could be properly recognized by the E2 Lai management. No? Kung baka E2 Lai management. <laughs> okay. Sagot naman ni Marjon Manalanta, number one, letter L. Same mm. sila ng sagot ni Alexandra. Let's see. For number one, correct answer, letter A. It's letter A. The one that you need to raise, or if you want to raise the stage. No. For number two. Okay, may sagot si Kier from STE, letter E, from Daniel R. Aguinaldo National High School. Tama si Kier, STE student, grade 7. Congratulations! For number three, we will have Tama din si Al Alriza and Alexandra Crisel Villaruel Patrica. Okay, very good. At saka si Krisha, Samantha Blasi, and Ashley. Okay, now we are waiting for number three answer. Okay, Ang for Alexandra. Uh, Ramiel Jaire Berezo from Pulong Buhangi National High School is letter B for number three. Mm -hmm. Same with answer with Krisha, letter B. And Bianca answered B from I wish I cruise Makabebe. Makabebe High School, Division of Pampanga. Pampanga. <laughs> <laughs> Gusto ko punta yeah. ng Makabebe. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah, thank you very, okay, very much good. for your participation. Yes, maraming salamat. And we have our science quote of this week. Love looks through a telescope. Envy through a microscope by Josh Billings. Ayan. Ayan Parang, yung yung ba? Yes, mm. pag masaya ka, ang lawak ng nakikita mo. Pag Correct. malungkot, pag naiinggit ka, ang dami mong nakikita, even the smallest details. But uh, the thing here is that we always have to look at the bright side. Yes. And you should not be a microscope when you're going to jealous. You have to be broad in your mind and you have to not too small ano, thinking, not too narrow-minded pala, sorry. Maging, maging ano tayo, maging tao tayo at maging malaking tao tayo for, for, the, ano, for the situation. Okay, so now for your for sharing of your insights and you have to use your hashtags Hashtag Science Shooter Rogen and Hashtag Science e 2 lie 7 This has been your tutor, Tutor Rogue from SDO Davao City of Francisco Bangoy National High School Region 11. And I'm Tutor Jen Pipito from the Nieler Aguinaldo National High School, SDO Davao City. We are your tutors for Science 7. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat, sa inyong pakikinig at suporta ng e 2 online tutorial. Hatid sa inyo ng Department of Education. Bye! Ah, yes, Tutor Jen. Shout out lang, Tutor Rogar, sa aking science yes. teacher nung high school, si Ma'am Luz Fernandez Eliza from Nabuntura National Comprehensive High School. Thank you po for the support. Wow. I'm a science teacher because of the great science teachers I had in high school. Actually, yes. Ganun din ako. I chose science subject or my major because 
my teachers in science are really good. Thank you so much for comments, suggestions. Email us at edtech at deped.gov.ph or you can scan the code in your screen. Up next is Tutor Z and Tutor Marky of Science Grade 8. <laughs>